Good morning gamers! Hi there! This is another chaotic cooking video and I'm gonna start right now by... Oh, I didn't even tell you what we're cooking! So, we're making vegetable buns... Buns... Buns, buns, buns... Okay, let's, let's get to it! <laughs> in this like any type of milk rice milk or anything it's gonna work this is sesame oil you need vegetable oil so one tablespoon and then the yeast which is active dry yeast and <laughs> I'm kind of speed running this because I decided this like Kinda of too late. And my lesson is gonna start. Um, it might be right now. It might be a minute later. I don't know. So yeah, active dry yeast, oil, and milk in this pot. So we're measuring the three cups of all-purpose flour. And I have nowhere to put it, so I'm just gonna put it in in the milk thing. The ingredients are in the description. Maybe I shouldn't have put it all in, but that's fine. Okay, we're gonna mix it. Okay, so I literally forgot to put salt in it, like, just put salt in it, and also sugar. That's kind of a lot of sugar, but I'm not messing around, okay? Okay, my lesson starts in one minute, so I'm gonna just casually take this bowl to my computer and um, mix the dough there and then cover it and leave it for an hour maybe i'll be back i'm gonna leave this for a bit because we have to make the filling and now the carrot comes in finally the carrot so carrot and cabbage yes so you don't need a lot of cabbage so <laughs> i don't know how to cut cabbage sure I bet you have never seen anyone cut cabbage so stupidly. Let's cut it into tiny little pieces. So for the carrot I recommend using this a cheese grater because carrot cutting is even more of a nightmare. And don't forget to feed your hamster some carrots. And now we stir fry the things which is not something I exactly know how to do. Okay, so I'm guessing you'll need some oil. Any oil. And then carrots. And then the cabbage. Cabbage. That has a bit of water with it. Oh my god, that, that is a lot of cabbage. Oh 
Okay, and now I think let's put on some soy sauce. And now I'm gonna let this cook. This is a random big lid because this thing doesn't have an, its own lid. It never had. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna go to another class. I'm gonna check on it, okay? Don't worry, but let this cook. I'm back and this is done. I'm gonna put this thing on it, which is for onigiris, but it tastes like a fart. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on this because last time it tasted fine and awesome, so yeah. And I recommend putting sesame seeds on it, but this already had sesame seeds, so and now so I think I should have had, should have put oil in this thing and it wouldn't have sticked but eh it's out it it's 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 born and now we need it i guess okay that's enough on board so this is how we saw it in the video which i'll link down there or in the description of course because i learn everything from youtube so we poke a hole make a donut It's hopefully easier to cut it to pieces. I think that that's dangerous. <laughs> I don't remember how many pieces this is supposed to be. Maybe 16. They are, of course, not evenly sized. And now, we do this to them. You flatten it. You can use a rolling pin. I'm too lazy to use rolling pin. This works, okay? You have to fill it. And I don't know the technique. And uh, I don't think it's necessary. So it's gonna be quite painful to watch. <laughs> Scoop some of this, it's gonna be fine, um, we're gonna close it very professionally, like as I said, I don't know how to do this, but it's closing and that's exactly what I want, okay, it's closed, it's cute, and it's done. It's a bun. <laughs> oh, sorry. Maybe make it <gasps> a hamster. Yay. Look at that. That is freaking adorable. Okay, so now I'm gonna continue on doing this for the rest of these guys. The hamster army is done. Oh my god. And now for the exciting part. Let's cook them and fry them at the same time. Yeah. Okay, so you place the buns onto the oil and I won't say place the hamsters because I'm not cooking hamsters. So you cook them until the bottom side is golden brown. I'd say this is about right. Pour water like, and then quickly close the lid. And 
and it exploded, yay! This is exactly how it's supposed to be, I hope. Yay. So, we leave it there for, for 12 minutes on high heat, and then, like in the last buns video, 3 minutes on low heat. They're absolutely beautiful. This is exactly how they should look. So I'm gonna take them out. Okay, this kind of looks like a frog. <laughs> bit off its butt. I don't know how to end this video. It's just so yummy. So yeah, hope you like this. Thank you very much for watching. in one sitting